So there you are in Moscow, looking at the timeless beauty of... Wait a minute, roll back that tape. Look there, they're coming. No, they're here. The golden arches of McDonald's, an icon of Western capitalism in the land of Lenin. A feast in the time of plague. The words of Alexander Pushkin, Russia's greatest poet. Pushkin now contemplates McDonald's. And the question is, was this the feast he wrote about? No. In the chilly dawn of January the 31st, 1990, the lineup outside Moscow McDonald's was rapidly getting longer. Customers described what they'd like to order. Big Mac. Всего понемножку. Did this boy know what a Big Mac was? Нет. Why had they come? Знаете, я вообще-то давно стою. Я вообще приехала только сегодня ночью. Желание побывать за границей, не выезжая из Москвы. Many didn't really know what to expect. So crew members were handing out pamphlets which explained the food and how to order it. is the place where you can dance. This is the restaurant where they buy food to eat. This is a good place for listening to music. People are stuck here to get into rock music. Rock and roll McDonald's! Rock and roll McDonald's! Rock and roll McDonald's! Rock and roll McDonald's! Yet this store is full of well-educated, multilingual, beautiful Soviet kids. Приняли вас на работу в нашу очень известную, знаменитую и популярную семью, семью Макдональдс. Before McDonald's, I have never worked so fast. Only when I played soccer or tennis. It's like sports. I'm Michael. I'm from Russia. Okay. Is everything okay? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Two, please. McDonald's сделает вас толстым. Они подают Big Mac. Они обслуживают четверть фунта. Они наложат на вас фунт. Rock and roll McDonald's. Rock and roll McDonald's. Rock and roll McDonald's. Rock and roll McDonald's. These kids are being paid two rubles, about 30 cents an hour, with capitalist incentives and benefits, which means they make more than a Soviet doctor will make. No wonder they're struggling to get it just right. This is a hamburger drill team. Since food is scarce, they practice with cardboard. Bun, lettuce, burger, bun. A little too much, George. Okay. Yes, Stop. And they practice a skill that Muscovites may find the most shocking of all. Politeness, saying hello and thank you. All of the staff have been taught to smile relentlessly all the time. I smile to anybody and they say, oh, what's wrong? What's wrong? I, I, I wonder what has happened. Why do you smile? Uh, they think that I'm laughing at them. Bun, lettuce, burger, bun. Гамбургеры из Макдональдса самые худшие. Они хуже, чем Бургер Кинг. Биг Мак содержит 26 граммов жира. Четверть фунта Рик имеет 28 граммов жира. Рок-н-ролл Макдональдс! Рок-н-ролл Макдональдс! Рок-н-ролл Макдональдс! Рок-н-ролл Макдональдс! Forget hold the pickles, hold the lettuce. Today these Russians wanted it all. 30,000 of them, twice what anyone expected, crammed through the golden arches before the day was done. Because I'm hungry. <laughs> Their verdict on the feast was mixed. I don't like it at all, he said. It's not Russian. I expected more, I think. This woman doesn't know what she just ate, but she says it was unusual and delicious. We're all hungry in this city, she says. We need more of these places. There's nothing in our stores or restaurants. Burger, bun. Apple pie. Can I try a French fry? Yes. All right. I have to tell you the truth. They're At least today, Muscovites were willing to buy a McDonald's meal for double the tab of a meal at a state-subsidized restaurant. A Big Mac, French fries, and a drink is the equivalent of half a day's wages. 
Look how much we need денег. Seven or eight rubles for lunch, he says. They're ripping us off. Рок в России. Рок о Советском Союзе. Витис завтра чемпион. The advent of this restaurant and the many more that are to open has done something really quite remarkable for the Soviet people. In a hopeful way, it has fired their already vivid imagination. It's the kind they can eat. This restaurant is for the people of the Soviet Union. The minute we open the door, it's their restaurant. They're going to come in this restaurant, they're going to enjoy it, and it's theirs forever. Cynics may wonder how long this will last. 32 years later, McDonald's shutting down across Russia, saying we cannot ignore the needless human suffering in Ukraine. Moscow McDonald's has been brought to you by your local bottler of Coca-Cola Classic.